The gestational sac is a fluid-filled structure surrounding an embryo during the first few weeks of embryonic development. It is the first structure seen in pregnancy by ultrasound as early as 4. 5 to 5 weeks of gestational age and is 97.6% specific for the diagnosis of intrauterine pregnancy. Meaning it is the only available structure that can be used to determine if an intrauterine pregnancy exists until the embryo can be identified. Its diameter is about 2 mm and increases in size to measure 5-6 mm at 5 weeks. The mean gestational sac diameter then increases by approximately 1 mm per day throughout the first trimester. The gestational sac, being a large cavity of fluid surrounding the embryo during early embryogenesis, consists of the extraembryonic coelum, also called the chorionic cavity. The gestational sac is normally contained within the uterus. It provides an embryo with nourishment food. It helps circulate gases between mother and the embryo. The yolk sac also produces cells that turn into important structures, such as the umbilical cord, blood cells and reproductive organs. An abnormally shaped gestational sac or yolk sac should raise concern for a failing pregnancy. The gestational sac should normally be round or oval. An irregular gestational sac with angulations or teardrop shape is associated with a poor prognosis. The advent of ultrasound has allowed a more direct means of assessing fetal structures and development. Measurements of a wide variety of parameters have been devised to establish gestational age. Ultrasound assessment of gestational age is feasible in a majority of pregnancies and may be used to establish gestational age with greater accuracy than physical examination. The gestational sac is an echo-free space containing the fluid, embryo, and extraembryonic structures. The sac is measured inside the hyperechoic rim, including only the echo-free space. The gestational sac is imaged first in the longitudinal plane, obtaining long axis and anteroposterior measurements perpendicular to each other. Then, in the transverse plane at the level of the anteroposterior measurement, the width measurement is obtained. The three measurements are averaged to obtain the gestational sac mean diameter. In other words, the gestational age of the embryo is determined by measuring the mean diameter of the sac, as measured from inside wall to inside wall of the sac. If the gestational sac is not completely round, then it may be measured using three orthogonal distances from the inside of the sac, using sagittal and transverse views. The mean sac diameter is then either compared to a table of values, input into a regression model, or input into the ultrasound machine, determining the estimated age through preset calculators on an obstetric setting. Thanks for watching. Learning is fun. Subscribe for more.